Hey guys, GNC here, and today I'm talking about Uchi Musume Episode 5. And with today's episode, we finally return to just having Latina being adorable. <laughs> like the last couple of episodes have tried to make you feel. And I don't, I don't like feeling. Feeling is, is not for me. <laughs> oh, well I guess, uh, technically... This extremely warm feeling you get inside from seeing Latina just be Latina is also a feeling, but it's not a sad one. <laughs> and with this episode, uh, we get basically um, almost two separate segments from each other for this episode. Like the first half is Latina, uh, you know, being slightly more independent and it's ruining Dale's day. <laughs> She's going to um, freaking Chloe's house and learning how to sew so she can make Dale a gift. And in the meantime, <laughs> Dale is just being depressed. Like the dudes in the pub were like, oh, looks like he could drop dead any minute now. <laughs> and then she gave him his gift and he came back out of there all smiles. And like, I think he's finally lost it. <laughs> Goodness. I mean, what do you mean you think he finally lost it? He lost it a long time ago. Clearly, Dale is insane. <laughs> but, you know, it's, it's fine. Because he's enjoyable to watch. And heck, somebody even said that. I think it was, um, freaking Jill said it. Jill Vester. Which, <laughs> freaking name, Jill Vester. Never heard anything like that. But yeah, freaking Jill. The MVP of today's episode. He's the realist and he's slowly working his way up to being in my top three characters. <laughs> oh goodness. Freaking Geo man. Ah, uh, so besides Geo being um the most recognizable customer in the pub that you see through these episodes. In this episode, he left his purse, pouch purse, bag, sack. He left the sack in the chair. <laughs> <laughs> uh, and Latino went to go and give it back to him. And uh, then two very shady looking guys and tried to abduct her. And he showed up as the savior. And... I thought it was heading towards him being like uh, some uh, super ultimate ninja battler type guy, but the police showed up and none of that happened. <laughs> uh, I thought we were going to see him just put the smack down on those two dudes, but cops show up and apparently the lieutenant of the police force is um, Sylvia's father, Sylvia, the one child who has, you know, been basically bland. You don't see much of her, although she was uh, very useful in the last episode. Other than that, though, you don't know much about her at all. Like, at least with the other kids, they just seem like regular kids. Sylvia does not, so there's probably some story behind that that we haven't gotten yet, uh, besides her dad being a cop. Anywho, the other portion of this episode was Latina seeing snow for the first time which was quite awesome <laughs> just seeing the way she acted with the with the snow falling and looking at it outside and then running out there and a hood falling over her face it was freaking adorable it's amazing that's literally how this show goes it just it goes from one adorable moment to the next unless you have something that's extremely saddening like the last episode other than that <laughs> It's just one adorable moment to the next, and then in this episode, they um, you can tell this is not a battle anime because when Dale did his one attack on one of those wolves out in the um, freaking snow, out in the blizzard, it looked really epic. And the reason why I say you can tell this is not a battle anime is because if <laughs> if it was, that wouldn't have looked epic at all. Like, they ain't put some effort into that one move because you never see any battles. So, I guess they could afford to make that look really cool. I'm like, hey, this shot's gonna look epic. Why? 
because we don't do any other fights here. So anytime we see somebody actually attack, it's gonna look really cool. Unlike those two losers that were trying to kidnap a girl and had issue. <laughs> like, the whole thing is, there were two dudes trying to kidnap a little girl and they were having problems with that. Like, first off, let's, you know what, never mind, let's not even get into that. Because those guys clearly were new to being thugs. <laughs> they were new to the criminal game. Because, God, their kidnapping skills were awful. First off, you just do it on the street like that? You didn't wait a around in a back alley or something or try to snatch her into the alley while she was walking by? No, you just approached her on the street. Like, what's... <laughs> <laughs> Step your game up. Oh, man. Uh, I guess I'm glad that the criminals are really stupid. <laughs> or else they might have actually got her. Oh, man, though. Like, those guys were freaking morons. And I guess they had to resort to the criminal life because they were, you know, uh, pretty bland and ugly looking. <laughs> oh. Hmm. That's a shame. <laughs> uh, and then I kind of wanted to see Latina use some magic on him too. That would have been cool. But all in all, everything got solved and it was beautiful. And then Dale showed back up. And there was your episode. It was really fun. Had a great time with this episode. And it's, again, one of the anime that is constantly giving you good content. Like, there hasn't been a freaking down episode in this series yet. Oh, man. Hoping it stays that way. Anywho, that's going to do it for this. Let me know what you guys thought about this episode in the comments below. I will see you next time. Peace out. And have a great day.